Konnichiwa! Welcome to this episode of Make Something Every Day. And today we're going to be talking about visible mending, or shishiko, which dates back to the Edo period in Japan. This stitching technique brings new life to old clothing with rips and holes. This eco-friendly craft is a great way to mend your old wardrobe and add some pizzazz. Grab some ripped jeans and let's get started. So you need an old pair of jeans, whether it be a jean jacket or pants, one with a hole in it so we can mend it. You need a variety of colors of thread, uh, whatever you have in your house is perfectly fine. And you need a pair of scissors and you also need a sewing needle. You also need an arrangement of pins to pin down the bottom fabric. You need some scrap fabric. So I have this color, I have uh, some hedgehogs and I also have a blue. You can use whatever you have if it's an old pillowcase, an old sheet, an old shirt, anything to mend this. To choose the pattern I just place the fabric over the hole and see if the color scheme would match. And here is the green. It's a bit too bright for me so I also won't use this fabric. So what I actually have is this blue upholstery fabric. I think it was maybe for curtains or a couch uh, and I think this will fit perfectly. You can't even see the hole. The very first step is just to get rid of some excess little frayed edges. So all I'm going to do right now is just to cut around this so it's a bit more cleaner. A square of your fabric should be at least 2-3 centimeters larger than the hole and then we can trim the excess after. And then take some of your pins and if you don't have pins that's okay you can also use a sewing needle or uh, maybe double sided tape if that's easier. So what I'm going to do is just pin around the hole just so the fabric is held in place. I'm going to focus on sewing on the inside of these pins. And be kids, if you're doing this, just be careful. Maybe ask your parents for help on this one. There you go. I've pinned that down right now. Next, I'm going to select a color that might suit this. I'm going to try to select maybe just one to make it simple. So which one do you think is better, pink, purple, or orange? Uh, maybe the orange that stands out nicely. So I'm just going to take a piece of this, an arm's length of it. You don't really need that much. And I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to thread it through my needle. This might take some time, so be patient with me. Because this thread is very thick, and it's cotton. Yay, I got it. I got it. Took some time. I got it needle all the way through leaving one end longer because we're going to keep pulling on this string so we can keep using the full length and not the folded length. So, so what I've decided for this tutorial is just to create little crosshairs. I saw this on Google uh, in Google Images in the search uh, visible mending. So there's lots of patterns you can do. I'm really just focusing on the most simple one which is what I can create which is just a little a little X like that. Same pattern all the way down we're going to do is create this type of pattern in your sewing area with the one color. I'm going to take the next area, which is here. I'm going to just keep repeating this process all the way through. In a lot of tutorials where people mark their sewing area with chalk or grease pencil, but I really like to just create on the go. I don't really like to think ahead of time. So now that the fabric is securely in place, I've gotten rid of all the pins and I'm just about to finish off the backing. So it looks like a big mess, it's okay. Trim the excess fabric here, and now I'm gonna take the same color. You can, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction so it looks like a, a little crosshair. All we do is just work on the same, same lines and just intersect every single line. And we'll just keep going, going along our merry way until we finish every single crosshair. And there you go. How adorable is that visible mending? Remember to keep your mind, body, and soul active. Make something every day. If you like this video, please subscribe. 